Hello and welcome to Non-Iron Day. This is, as you can see, lots of items that um, we sell that you don't need to iron. So that's what this is about. Um, items, if, you, if you're anti-iron, and I know there are lots of us about, <laughs> Um, you don't have to, uh, we have lots of customers who come in saying, oh no, I like it, but I'd have to iron it. So this is entirely for you, how uh, things that you can buy from us that don't need ironing. Right, and I'm going to go straight into it. So we've got trousers in that section, and then I've got tops and dresses and um, a jacket over here. But um, let's start with our stainman trousers. So... And I'm going to use this as a little bit of a, also showing you the different colours. As you can see, I haven't, I've picked up different sizes. I haven't decubed them so that um, some of you can see. I'll talk about sizes as well as colours. Right, so Stamen trousers are a German, they're made by a company in Germany. Stamen are in Germany. They are similar to the Rebel trouser, but they are the original version of the Bengalin trouser. So they're the originals and we do them in a variety of styles and a variety of lengths. And I'm going to go through that with you now. But the beauty of them is that you do not have to iron them. So they are high stretch, high stretch trousers. These are the Ina 530s, which means that the length of them from the in the inside leg off is 530 mil. 53 centimeters so the number when you're ordering stamen trousers if you want to know how long they're going to be or where they're going to finish on your leg get a tape measure from your crutch and um, the inside leg and that will tell you where they'll finish that will you can use that as a guide so because they have a high content of stretch you you must not tumble dry them and you must not hot wash them so wash them at a 30 or a 40 degree heat because obviously there are, the, the um, elastic is damaged with heat. So we often have, um, well not often, we've had over the years, I personally have had a couple sent back where... You're trying to be diplomatic I'm trying here. to be diplomatic, where it's evident that they have, we can tell when they've been heat damaged yeah. basically. Basically the only to. returns we ever have from stamen are ones that have been heat damaged. Yeah. And they may not have ironed them, but they have put them in a tumble dryer. So you can iron them. If you're one of those watching us that you couldn't bear to put these on without Me. ironing them, Sarah, you can iron them, but you must use a cool iron. You must use an iron that's got a protector cover on it or um, a tea towel. But Basically, cool I've got a Teflon cover, mm -hmm. so I steam mine, but there is a thick layer it. of yeah. Teflon between the trousers and the plate so basically the steam is going through so i use like the teflon iron yeah. covers we've got here in the shop but basically if you keep heat away from them they will last longer they will hold their shape i have had um my black eyeballs uh six years now and they they look absolutely fine mm. i still wear them you wouldn't know that i'd have them six years where where they damage is you start to see the elastic peeping through on the seams and all the elastic goes in the center if you have heat damage mm. in so, fact book sue who used to be in the shop next to us yeah. she had two pairs i think mm. possibly three she, i mean you, you know she used to rotate them she yeah. always wore our igor trousers yeah. she replaced i think her black pair after three years yeah. so that is three years of constant of wear. constant wear yeah. a couple of times a week so she must have worn those trousers yeah. possibly 300 times washed mm. them a hundred times mm. They were getting thin because they were worn. But when we did the comparison between her old pair and her new pair, because she looked after them properly, the colour hadn't faded. Yeah. I mean, they so, just were a yeah. thinner version of the original yeah. ones. So if you stick to our guidelines, they should last you. But I never iron mine. What I'm trying to get to is mine have never seen an iron. What I do, they come out the washing machine. I shake them, I hang them up. 
and Sarah would look at them and think, there's no way I'm putting them on. Mine go on and the creases drop out of them. And I know I'm not the only one that does No, that. you are right. It's yeah. just that I'm very anal about ironing, yes. which is why you're doing this video and I'm not. Yeah, because I, I mean, I do iron because there are things that, that, you, uh, that you know, you just have to iron. But there's a famous story. Um, if Janet's, oh, Janet won't be watching. Oh, she might be watching this. Janet's on um, a ship going around the Greek island. Janet is my mother-in-law. And when I went to hospital to give birth to my daughter, Janet had my son, who would have been, a pro, he would have been three at the time. And she was, so he was staying with her overnight while I was having Tallulah. And Kai said to her, Janet was um, doing the ironing in the kitchen. And Kai said to her, age three, what's that, Grandma? Oh, no. Is it your surfboard? Oh, no. oh, I never told you that. Because he's never seen an ironing board. Because, of course, when I had the, the children, there's no way I didn't iron anything. My husband is a blacksmith, so I don't, I did this, I'm not ironing his shirts because he, he he's not sitting in an office. Mm. He's not in a smart job. Who cares what he looks like? <laughs> Certainly <laughs> not him. <laughs> anyway, so getting back to the Ina 530. So I'm going to show you the different styles of stamen trousers. So these are the cropped version. And I'm going to go through the colours. So the crop is the Ina 530. Then we have the um, 7 8 version, which is the Igor, which has pockets, fake front pockets, fake zip. And it has the turn up at the bottom. Um, so that's the Eigel 680. So each one of, so the, the colours we do, I think the largest variety of colours comes in the crop for the summer. And then we have um, navy, black and chalk all year round in the Eigels and the Inas. The Inas, let me just show you before we go on. I'll find it. There's the, the there's a summer se a seasonal colour of the Inas. So the Inas, ladies, look, Inas 530, Ina 740. So the only difference is the length. They still have the little slit at the bottom. The only difference is the length. If you have extra long legs, we also do an Ina 800. So 800 mil, and there you go. That's the difference between the Ina trousers. Right, so um, colours, white, we have this, um, what Bermuda, do we green. Bermuda green, that is and lovely, that colour, in my head, this one is not, it uh, might have gone online now, yeah, but, it's oh, it is in the eye and we've now. got more, uh, we've got more stock coming in, yeah, so th this is the jolly blue, which is a French navy, now we also have that, a few of those left, not many left, in the long version, in the full length version of the Ina, we have the French Navy, which is called Jolly Blue, not online. If you want the full length version of the Jolly Blue in the Ina, you need to phone us up. Um, then we have the, um, I can never say this one, it's the Cent. I, I, I think it's it. Sendre or Sandre. It, it's, it's a foreign word, Sandre <laughs> Blue. I just say Sandre yeah. Blue. This one is the Hibiscus. And that is gorgeous. Very lovely. It's a looking a lot more orangey on the video oh, than it? it is in real life. Right. But if you step back a bit, yeah, it's a more muted colour. It's not a bright coral. It's gorgeous. Though. Black, which I wear all the time. I dress mine up um, to, to go out in the evening, dress them down. This is the chalk. The chalk, remember, in the full length liner we have all year round. And this is the navy the navy we have all year round. So those three colours in the Igles and the Inas we have all year round. And so girls just said that the Bermuda green is lovely. Can I just say a quick hello whilst you're fiddling? Yes, yeah. Okay, so can we say hello please to Linda Darch, Helen, Katie, Claire, Michaela, Rosalind, Florence, Sue, Fran, Julie, Jackie, Jackie, Leslie, we said hi to Gail already, Fleur, Rosemary, 
Rosemary and Sue. Good afternoon, everyone. If you've got any questions, ask me. And do you want to run through quickly why we didn't uh, change over to Rebel when they were first launched? Or do you want me to go through? I have no idea why. So when they were first launched, we've mm. stocked Stoma Forever, obviously. Mm. Um, and we stocked them before Rebel was launched in the UK. We already had quite a loyal uh, following and we were approached. But the reality is... I think uh, that the quality of the Bengalin and the quality of the trouser of Stayman is far superior. And that has, we've had customers come yeah. back to us and say, you were right, yeah. haven't we? Hold, they hold their shape for longer, don't yes. they? Yes, yes, and they wash better and they longer. last better yeah. and they are the same price point. Yeah. And we have had customers who've moved over to Rebel yeah. and then they've slunk back in mm -hmm. saying, you were right, you were right. So that's why we've really never gone off message. Mm -hmm. They are fabulous trousers. Unless, ladies, you ball wash them. You and use an iron or you put them in a tumble dry. In that case, they're crap. But, um, so I've just come back from a trip to France that most of you know. know. And when I pack these, they pack really small. So, oh, let's tell you first. These are the Inulas. These are our latest um, style in. And they're, can you see they're narrower in the waist? Can you just bring them a bit they nearer have, so we can see the belt loops? That's it. We can loops. see the belt loops now. They have yeah. belt loops. They're a lot narrower in the waist. They're a slimline fit, and um, they have the front pockets, no back pockets. And they're more like a lolly in shape, aren't they? They don't a lolly. have the fake zip, fake fly, and they, yes, they are like a lolly in, in, and they are seven, they're called Inula 742, so they're 742 mils, so they're slightly longer than the Ina, only slightly. Anyway, when I pack these, you can roll them really well. So if you roll them, we all know that if you're packing, you should roll because you it takes up less space and also it prevents the need to iron. But I like rolling these. It's not a very good job, but trust me, if I'm doing it on my bed, I do it better because um, it means that they fit in really quick, really easily. That's a really good tip. And they'll go in your um, on on. You can fit more of them in your on uh, carry on luggage. Mm. Um, but that's what I do. But even if you um, fold them and th they're still going to come out at the other end if you um, they travel really well and you're not going to have to iron them. Also means if you take them on holiday, you can rinse them out. You can hang them up in the heat of your lovely holiday destination. They, um, they dry out and you don't need to iron them the next day and they'll dry out overnight. Uh, they are, I wear my black in the winter and I wear my black in the summer. Um, I just change the shoe that I wear them with. Um, and I personally think that they are cool in the, in the summer and they are warm in the winter. Yeah, they should be because they're know? viscose, aren't they? So it's the same as cotton, right, isn't it? So we talked through those. So those ones, the new style is, are called Inula. Can I just make a, read out a couple of comments? Gail yeah. said she has rebels and she would agree with us that the quality is better. Katie thinks that the rebels are a bit wider in the leg, which mm. means, Katie, you're wearing a style that we don't stock at the moment. I'm buying next month, so I will see if I can get some Bengalin trousers that are wider in the leg for you. Um, and if I can, I'll come back to you. Right. Now, next, um, some people iron jeans. Really? Really? How many? Me! <laughs> you iron jeans? I iron jeans, yeah. Oh my god, oh my god. I've never ironed ten jeans in my life, I don't think. Um, so who's with me? Let's have a bit of a vote on it. Yeah, this. let's have a vote. Let's who's vote. with Donna? If Who you... thinks you are mad mm. if you iron yeah. jeans? Yeah. That's a thumbs up. If you think you are mad if you iron jeans, it's a thumbs up. Lots of thumbs up coming. <laughs> if you actually iron Life's your jeans, push a love button. Yeah, life's too short. I'd rather be walking my dog. <laughs> right, so um, these are the pull-up summer capri jeans. So um, jeans by Anna Montana. You know I'm not going to go through our jeans, but I'm just going to show you briefly the different colours and that none of them get ironed. So a summer, summer um, silver, so we do seasonal colours of these pull-up jeans but this colour also is available in a zip-up version of jeans 
Um, so the silver, no need to iron. The white, no need to iron. The chalk, no need to iron. As soon as you wear them, again, these are high elastic jeans, which means that as soon as you wear them, they, um, the creases will fall out and that if you keep them away from the iron and stick to the same rules as the stamen, no heat, anything, all of these items, anything that has a stretch to it, even this shirt, it has a stretch to it, is that on camera? Yeah, um, I'm laughing because all, all your friends are agreeing with you. Joe's just said, I never iron anything. As you know, Dora, it must be a Welsh thing. Then Mel said, I hardly iron anything like the dress on you, Dora. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we're getting to that now, the cages on the dresses. Yeah, so none of these, so this is the stone wash comparison to the dark blue. So we're doing a comparison of those colours. So ladies, when you're on the phone and asking the difference, this is the stone wash, which is more of a traditional denim, denim colour. This is the dark blue, which is very dark actually in the jumping jeans and um, so these are the capri jumping jeans but the the uh, full length jumping jeans the same colours I must there. say though across the boat is fairly even oh, and can, really? can I, I, I it might be. can I just yeah. say hello to a few more people who've just joined us mm. uh, can I say hello to Kathy how are you my darling we've got everything uh, our fingers crossed for you Joe and oh, Mel we've said hello to you Pat Valerie Wendy, oh, Michaela doesn't iron anything either. Hi, Gay, welcome. I must say, I don't do housework, though. My house, you wipe your feet on the way out, not on the way in, but I do right, iron. so the, um, the jumping jeans full length in the stone wash, just to show you the difference. Make sure when you're ordering the um, jumping jeans, ladies, you've got the right length. We do three lengths. We do the capri, we do the... Um, it's 82 centimetres, so that is the 29 leg, and then we do a 30, 31 inch leg. So those are the jumping jeans. Right, the next ones, I don't think these are online, are they, Sarah? They're not, because we ne we, did, we don't get photography from yeah. Stark. Right, so these are the Stark um, Capris, which we have just brought into the shop. Three colours very similar those are the, yeah they're they are all the same ascari is by stark so can you see that they are the same they're very similar to the stamen um so they're a capri length they um are slightly wider that's why can you see slightly mm -hmm. wider but they do come up smaller so as you can see here um whereas with the i forgot to mention actually with the stamen trousers Stamen trousers, you should always go down a size. With these Ascari, you need to stick to your jean size or don't, don't go down a size. Or possibly even go up a size, some of you. They're very, they come up a very small fit. Anyway, stay with these. Um, no iron. Um, great. They have the front pockets. They're very similar but they are not a high rise. So if you like a high rise, avoid those. Right. Now, Katie's just asked a really interesting question, Donna. She has asked if the jumping jeans are high rise and mid rise. How do we answer that one politely? <laughs> <laughs> Basically, if you buy, with a lot of these trousers, you can fit in, the majority of you can fit into two sizes. You can squeeze yourself into a pair and they're on and then you can fit into the next size up. So it's depending, it's your own personal choice. So I would rather have, although I like oversized items, with trousers I would rather squeeze into a pair and let them stretch naturally. I just like my trousers to be um, on the small side and, and tight basically. So it's your own personal preference you know some people like a, a close fitting trouser some people want to go up a size to get the new size. but if people find that they're a mid-rise so, it's because they're not big enough yeah i'll get to that if they're if you if they're coming up as a mid-rise you're in a size too small you need to go up a size mm. and they're not a conventional fit it's not um, you know, some people religiously stick to their size. I'm a size 14 and I'm not mm. going to try anything else. Most of our clothes don't work like that. 
most of our clothes. K design dress. This dress technically is two sizes too big for me. In the K, was it in, this is this dress is a medium. It is. And in the K design dresses, I am an extra small. So in this K design dress that you saw me in last week, that's the extra small. So I've gone from the extra small to the medium. And um, I can get away with it because what I've done is I, I wear the belt really tight. And, and I wanted, I prefer the larger because if I had this dress in the extra small, I basically I would feel too self-conscious in, in the boob area. It would be too tight on me. In the, I like the fact that I've got room here around the boob area. Right, um, sorry, I've... I've, um, so the short answer is they're high rise if you go big enough yeah. if they're mid rise they mm -hmm. are not getting over your derriere and you probably have builder's bum as well as them being mid rise yeah most most of the material is covering your yeah. bottom go up a size same with these exactly the same with these so these are by stamen they're lowly you don't this is where you break the rule you don't um you don't go down a size with these as you do with the other high stretch. So these are still stretch. Let me let's show you the colours first and then I can grab one. So oh, we do have another colour. So this is the stone with the white spot. We do have that the other way around. We must get that out of storage, we actually. Have, we have the white with the stone spot. We have the navy. We have the red that you've seen lots of times before. We should be putting them there. But look, they're still high stretch, still no iron. These are the these are the trousers that I live in most of the summer. Um, they, if you get these a size too small, the same happens. They'll be they'll be too low in the body. They'll also you'll see when you if I call them at the back. Can you see that? The if you come in, but you can't. Be, you can, can come you back because that? you can see. That, yeah, this yeah, is, the yeah. seam shows too much. So basically with these, you can fit in two sizes. You need to stick to your jean size. Um, and if, that, if, they're, if they're too low, um, you'll, you'll fit the next size up as well. Yeah. So I have lots of ladies that will come into the fitting room, grab their jean size, and then they'll do a comparison. And often, very often, they go home with the next size up. Yeah. There you go. And you see, that's the thing. So with those, I need a 12. Uh, to get the rise, if I, I can physically get into a you 10, can get into them. but my, all my organs are squashed because the rise is in the wrong place. Mm. Um, yeah, so those are great, no iron. And, and then they're, they're very, these I always, I always say, these remind me, I th always think of Audrey Hepburn. Mm. Look, they're Audrey Hepburn. And if you look at them, actually, I've never actually noticed before, now I'm holding them at eye length. If you look at them, they go higher at the back, mm -hmm. yeah, so that they have got room for your bottom. Mm. Yeah, they're higher at the back. But they're very, they, they're like a cigarette trouser, very ordinary. Can happening. I just say a few more hellos? Because we've got yeah. lots of people watching us today. Marie started watching us. Hi, Debbie. Hi, Margaret. Hi, Tuppence. Hope you're well in France. What's the weather like there? And Karen has just joined us. Thanks for all your help on Sunday, Karen. Dawn has just joined us, and so has Trish. Yeah. We're talking about the non-iron wardrobe today, ladies. Yeah, everything that you see here, you should be able to get away with not ironing. Right, so these are um, these are called the Amandas. They are obviously the same fabric, so the same goes as the Lolis, but we have fake pockets, real pockets at the back, and the biggest difference is that they're shorter, so they're a different length. And they're so, in the rise. Yeah. So the on me, these are a seven eighth. These are the seven eighth length, and that um, I'm five foot, ladies. And these are mid calf. Obviously, that's going to be different depending on your height, but they're called Amanda four eight two. So four eight two is um, the length of those, and the lowlies are lowly. 602. So remember when you're on our website and, and you want to know on the individual person what length these trousers are going to be, you need to get a tape measure into your crotch 
and the number that's written after the stamen trousers is going to be an indication of where they finish on your leg. Right, these, so when we do, so we do the lowlies every summer, although they are available on the website all year round. Um, the Amandas are new in this summer. The Stamen, the Ina 530s, again, they come in every summer and they're a seasonal trouser because of the length, but they are available. So if you're doing winter cruising, they are available on our website all year round. Um, the, we've talked about the colours, but then we also do seasonal stamens, stamen trousers. So every season, whether it be summer, these are two of this year's. We do, um, Sarah will order something that's just a little bit different, whether it be pattern, whether it be floral, um, and then summer and winter season, just something that's a little bit different. These are very like the lowlies with the fit so you don't go down a size on this any stamen trousers that are a little bit different basically stick to your jean size is what i say and again not iron and the other thing to tell you ladies is that these are going up in price oh yes so i heard today so the igors let's just grab a pair of igors so for those of you who wear igors with the turn up, they've been, since I've worked here, they've been 58. And as with everything in our life at the moment, um, they, they're going up. So we had, we had notification. First of August, they're going up. As of the first of August, they're, they're going up to 62 pounds. So you need to grab things, them now. And the Inas will be 55. 55. So basically the Igles are going up four pounds mm -hmm. um, and the Inas are going up uh, so if you wear black three pounds. and igors or inas through winter and you wait until the winter to buy them, suggest if you want them a little bit cheaper, buy them before the 1st of August. Yeah. yeah, and that goes for the inas 740s as well. The inulas, we think we can hang on to the same price because basically they're not being produced for the winter. So we're busily buying up summer stock, which fingers crossed, unless they come back to me tomorrow and tell me otherwise, means we can hold the price for you throughout this winter. But I think this is something you're just going to um, have to accept. I mean... I, I honestly can't remember the last time Stoneman put their prices up. We've stocked them for over a decade now. And I think in the in 10 years, this is their second price increase. So they are a great company. They hold their prices for as long as they can. But really, you know, they're just having to bite the bullet now. So, yeah. And it also goes for the seasonal colours. You know, yeah. if you wear white Stoneman every year, religiously and we have any left in your size, if you get them this summer, mm -hmm. ready for next summer, mm -hmm. if you're that, if you're, you know, good at planning, you'll be saving yourself some cash. Yeah, and we don't know, actually, the way the things are, God help they us, go but the, hey, they might go up again. Seriously, no, realistically, again. you yeah, know, yeah. we've Working got no idea again. what's happening in the next nine to 10 months, yeah. have we? Yeah, they might not. Right, so um, you all know about our jeans. We, um, these are our stretch jeans, same rules as go for the stamen, we've been talking about them. Uh, don't hot wash them, don't iron them and don't um, tumble dry them. So I just thought I'd show you the difference in length between the ones that I wear, which are the nine, so these are, these are Angelicas, all different colours, different lengths. This is the crop Angelica, sorry, the seven eighth Angelica, which on me, is a full length jean so ladies if you're short when you're buying angelica jeans you need to make sure that it says angelica 7 8 some of you will order the angelica and not look at the length and this is the 32 inch the angelica magic stretch is a 32 inch and as you can see very very long too long on me so this is the blue black in my opinion this is the most flattering, this and the black are the most flattering, um, just the material, the, the colour, uh, everything about them. That, so if, if you're, you know, if you're struggling to find a pair of jeans to fit you and to tick boxes, this, this one, and this pair and the black, the blue black are the ones that tick the majority of boxes. 
So lengthwise, yes, make sure that you're um, ordering, that you have distinguished between Angelica. So the 1913, these are two seasonal colours. We have a few left, a few sizes left in both of these colours. And I just wanted to talk to you about the red. Because I have a couple of pairs of red because um, they, when, they, when I roll them up, they make a really good summer, um, summer crop jean for me. But obviously, red fades. Whatever, red just naturally, a red jean will fade. You can't stop it. You can wash them inside out on a cool wash, but they're still going to naturally fade. And I have just experimented. I, I actually like them when they fade, fade. So because I have a couple of pairs, I have um, kept one as a faded red pair, and the other I have dyed them, I've re-dyed them to reinvigorate them. So because, um, so you just put it in a cold wash, you throw the dye in the washing machine, you, it's not like it used to be, you have to add a ton of salt, now it's just a, a dye-long capsule that you throw into the washing machine beforehand and um, you leave the dye in the capsule, you don't tip it out so that it has an even distribution. And as long as you're, you get really good results if you're re-dyeing something to freshen it up. So the red and the black freshen up really nicely. So if you do, if you're put off buying red because you don't like the way, oh, red always fades, Every year you can re them and reinvigorate them. And actually, ladies, exactly the same thing applies to your magic stretch jeans. If you tumble dry them, if you boil them, mm. if you uh, iron them with a hot iron, you will knacker them. They will not last. Yeah. The pair of, if we have a really dodgy summer like this summer, the one I I buy one pair of white jeans and i do tumble dry them and i do i don't and i don't put them on a hot wash but if we if it's rains all summer i tumble dry mine and by the end of the summer ah. they are completely destroyed right. but i know i'm going to destroy them and i'd rather mm. destroy one pair each year mm. um and have but a new pair next year white. but i do it because it's white because it yeah. shows every yeah. mark but that's why i know ladies if you do this you will ruin your jeans mm. my blue black jeans which i don't do that to i have you know eight nine ten years old mm. It, it really is heat make heat and ironing and tumble drying just makes so much difference to the longevity of your clothes doesn't it it knackers yeah, them absolutely and uh, which brings us on to the denim mm -hmm. jacket now sarah and i are great fans of denim jackets i always have been uh this one that we sell the wash denim jacket has got some stretch in it so those rules do apply um sarah do you iron your denim jacket do you know what donna i do <laughs> Oh my god, that was a I don't wash season. it very often though. No, because you, you don't wash it. I don't do you know what? I think I've washed it twice and I've had it since Georgie was seventeen so and she's twenty five. Oh, so yeah. that's eight years. Who are, Leanne, do you iron your denim jacket? Well, she might not wash it either. She I might be slutterly like I just me. I've washed mine, and there's no, no no way would I ever iron. But I don't know, I iron everything but pants. You know, it is. I know it's an no, illness. This is something else that Sarah would iron. Oh my god, um, yes. So a <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so a jersey. Um, so we have these in navy and white stripe, and this is the mint stripe, and a sweatshirt. You, I don't iron sweatshirts. I don't iron sweatshirts because once you've popped it on, the, the creases naturally, it, they just naturally drop out. So that's something I wouldn't iron. So you can get away can I just that. tell you that Ralphie the dog is watching you again? Do you remember? Yeah, yeah. So we can I'm wave sorry, to Ralph. And... I can picture you, but I can't remember <laughs> your real name. You no. came in a few weeks ago and I... Oh, Ralphie. No, I'm so sorry. I can't remember your name. Is it Debbie? No. I don't know. And Hilary, who's tuppence, she's been flooded in France. It's been raining all the yeah, time. I've just got back, Hilary, and we had a torrential thunderstorm and a, a whole day of rain one day i had a clap of thunder like i've never heard before in my life so yeah and that was in champagne so yeah hi, and then karen's watching us lorraine's joined us hi jenny hi marion hi elaine Oh, I tell you what, Rosemary and Pat are with me. They are... Oh, my God, Rosemary irons everything, even socks. Socks. 
socks. She irons socks. Rosemary, do you iron pants too? Well, she irons socks. She irons pants. Oh my gosh! Yeah. No, I'm not. I'm not. Yeah. I'm not she that socks, bad. <laughs> yeah. Do you iron tea towels? Me, of course I do. <laughs> <laughs> who wants tea towels? Thumbs up for everybody who wants tea towels. Perhaps if I didn't have 70 miles to go. No, it, honestly, I just cannot, I cannot bear putting clothes on me that haven't been ironed. Well, I don't think, those of you who bought this and washed it, tell me if you iron it. So uh, this, oh gosh, I love the name of this, It's but I can't remember, what's it called? Um, it's something like blue grass blue or something. grass that's exactly what it is there's a blue grass festival in conway every year so that's the blue grass color um silver also comes in gold and if ladies those of you who bought this tell me because i think that i wouldn't iron this but tell me no I, I wouldn't iron that because i think it would melt I it, think it would, well, cool iron. so same with this one those of you who bought the gold version of this tell me how you've got on have you managed have you put used it with a cool iron or but what is this cool iron it? thing does a cool iron make any difference whatsoever no, do you remember there are some things that you that you would hang in a steamy bathroom to get the crease yeah out, remember before the steamer um oh yeah how many of you steam how many of you steam? I'm not a steamer either. That takes no, I don't. I don't steam. Right, knitwear. So this is the. Uh, so a lot of our. I found. I think this is a coincidence that the brands that I like, my favourite brands, happen to be non-iron. So K Design <laughs> is a favourite brand. Um, Signature is a favourite brand. Sakana is a favourite brand of mine, and those are. It just dawned on me today that those are not iron. So let me show you the, the Sakana top. So there's one of the Sakana. So it's the stretch jersey. And that's just an example. We have these. So this is just telling you what we've had in this year. But ladies, this crosses the seasons and crosses the years. When we get Sakana, we always have this stretch jersey in the shirts and the boat necks. And um, I like them. I not just because they're non-iron i like the fit and i like the feel the feel more than anything but um it's just a bonus that they're not iron uh, so here we have two of the signature the crew neck uh, these are not online you'd need to call them they are gorgeous oh, though they haven't gone online no they, they have they? we haven't got photography yeah. for them but they so are absolutely can you just bring it a bit closer so we can see the pattern so people can just see how pretty they've they got are lots of colors in them. they are gorgeous you know, they've, even, you know, they've even got purple in there there's a lot of colors in there so that's going to go with a lot of things from your jeans to and these this the one with the uh oh. the the polo the collar and the three-quarter sleeve um Oh, Marion! Marion is the one who said we should do the non iron video. Thank Here you so the much, Marion, because we 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 couldn't find we your email. Yeah. So thank you so much for coming back to us and letting us know that. This this sorry, this shirt will go into the winter. It's be fab it, in the winter. It will, yes, and it'll layer up nicely. Mm. And um, so signature. And they're fifty quid, aren't they, Donna? Lots of signature jersey um, items do not mm. need ironing, and these are fifty quid. Um, but you need to call the shop if you would like those. Um, these K Design knitwear. So these are all K Design. I don't knitwear. iron them. You don't iron these. No, I don't. Well, actually, I don't iron the the bigger one because you don't want to like, lose the ribbing. Oh. I do iron. I must say, I do iron the sleeveless one. Okay, so these K Design um, knitwear. This is just to show you. These are previous season or last last year. I think. Were these COVID? I think these were COVID, and that's why they were left, weren't they? Anyway, COVID victims. These are down from 65 to 39. We have a variety of sizes and the colours. You'll have to phone up to check. Because they're sort of a mix ma mi yeah, mishmash, mishmash, isn't but it? None of these, look at them, lovely, dress up really nice. We've got the navy, the black. Can you just bring the, the navy in a bit closer so they can see yeah. the ribbing and just hold it up a bit? Hold it up a bit high. Can you see that ribbing? I mean, it's gorgeous. It's one of my favourite tops. Mm -hmm. um, but I think we've sort of got big ones and little ones left. I'm not sure we've got any in between. I've yeah. got this in black. Vest, um, that is gorgeous. Lovely French navy. 
that's going to look really nice with the um, tillies. So those of you who have the white tillies, can you imagine that with the white tillies? I wear my black one with the white ah, tillies and I yes, wear you... it with my pearls, which, okay. and you know that uh, single diamante necklace? We've got the short gold necklace from yeah. Dante with a little silver di uh, gold diamante. Yeah. I wear that with my pearls and with my um, black platforms. Mm -hmm. It looks fab. Right, now I have this. And the reason I bought this is not for this time of the year because it's very close and muggy here in Norfolk most of the time at the moment. I bought this in preparation for the autumn and the winter. So have I. Oh, God, I have to make sure we don't wear it at the same time because this ticks all the boxes for me. It's black, it's um, three quarter, well, is it 50 sleeve? It's a 50 yeah. 50 sleeve. Basically, it's not a full sleeve. Um, it's um, sig signature, which means it's a good fit on me, and it's non-iron. So this will be my throw-on because I'm going to I'm going to admit to something else here. I'm admitting that I don't iron. I'm also admitting that I have in my room I have a wardrobe. Well, I, I have I have a rustic-looking wardrobe. You know, it's a hanging rail, rather like the fitting rooms here. But I also have a floor drone. <laughs> <laughs> and this is the sort of thing that that if it ends up on the floor in the floor drone, um, can be grabbed and will still look um, and will still look nice because it doesn't need to be owned. So do you have a floor drobe, ladies, <laughs> or do you have a chair drobe? I have a floor drobe because very often I, I have a lot to do before I get to work. I, I, it's either feed 70 um, uh, beasts or hang up clothes. So the hanging up of clothes doesn't happen as often as the feeding the beasts. Thing. You see, it's because I'm just slovenly and I just take clothes off and drop them. And I actually clear up my clothes once a week. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that, that. So you have a floor drobe. Oh, I've well. got I've got floor drobes, darling. Floor, floor drobes. I've got drobes. one in my bedroom, right. one in the bathroom, and one in the spare room where yeah. I hang all my clothes. Well, there you go. And then once a week I go round, and Linda's not well, watching why. this now, but if she watches it later, she'll be laughing because she's seen me do it. I sniff the armpits <laughs> to see if I can recycle it again. And I do a, a lot of <laughs> I do a good line in in Coco, if the armpits are 50-50, they get a squirt of Chanel. <laughs> and then they're hung again for next time. I, 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 my floor drone has, most of it has tended to move now onto um, chairs, but I, I need to think of a word. For chair it. drobe, chair, chair drobe. drobe. Yeah. But the reason that's happened, and it's quite a good thing, is because my little angel, my little dog, I worked out when I was picking up clothes off my floor, though, I was finding little treats buried in there. <laughs> <laughs> no, we've got well, lots of too far for even me. We've got lots of comments coming in. Katie Buswell has a coat stand in the corner of the bedroom for hanging things that oh. are ready for the laundry basket. Marion has a chair drobe soon, and are we are sorry, we've been joined by lots of other people, but we've got to crack on because we've only got fifteen minutes okay. left. How many of you have um, an exercise machine that has become? An exercise machine wardrobe or whatever. Anyway, right, more tops, more of the tops from um, Sakana. There are no uh, non iron. It's going to whiz through them. These are online, limited style, uh, sizes left. I think we've got this in every size. But again, more tops that I'm just giving you an idea. So the majority of the Sakana and the K Design. Now, I'm, I'm going on to K Design if we've only got 10 minutes to tell you. K Design, I'm wearing K Design today. Sarah's wearing this, the dress version of K, uh, of this. And I don't today. iron it because it would melt. You must not iron <laughs> K Design. K Design, you must not iron. Don't iron. What you do with K Design when you're packing it is you do this and you throw it in a bag and it comes out looking like this. And we have lots of ladies that were travelling this year that have bought the um, lovely, lovely dress. I had a lady that bought this dress yesterday. She's travelling to uh, her son's wedding. Uh, Sarah wore this to Paddy's uh, graduation. 
and a, a journey and you come out the other end and you're not a priest mess you look at you you look this the same as you did in the morning and the stay fresh works yeah. i must quickly say whilst you're grabbing another one okay. the stay fresh i wore that dress on sunday to the ariane pool event i wore it yesterday all day at the norfolk show this morning it passed the sniff test to go back on the rail yeah. so i have worn it for two days on hot days ladies I can wear it again. So this you know? is what Sarah's talking about. Look, it, you have more confidence, ladies. Mm. You have more comfort. You have less washing, less wear and tear. And I promise you, it's true. Yeah. That, that, that is not a gimmick. It is true. It's not gimmicky. So, skirt version of you. How many of you... I cannot believe that we've got these left. I can't believe, believe those. I think no. I might try one you know, on people, again. People are People can't find skirts... Yeah, the, um, Mel's watching. Mel has a K design skirt, and it's her favourite skirt. You know, these. This one has belt loops. I'm sure I've seen. Yeah, it's got kind of belt, belt loops. loops. You can wear it on the waist, or you can wear it on the hips. So you can. I think you need to be shorter. I think that's the thing. Is right. that I think you know. Okay. I think when I tried it on, I did look like my nana. Yeah, but but they've got a lovely weight to them. The K design has got a great weight to it. So even though it's this really fine material. It, um, it, it it just makes you feel good. And you really don't does. melt in them. They are not sweaty, no, Betty. No, definitely not. So some others that we have uh, that you've seen on previous... Very, very limited yeah. uh, stock limited left sizes. in this. But K Design is something that we found, Sarah found four years ago. Since she found it, um, we've increased the stock each season. We plan to do that this winter. So if you're a fan of K Design, it, every, every it's the one that I look forward to seeing. Oh, what what we what have we got in K Design? Um, they have become more and more popular in the shop, which is why we sell out really quickly. And um, it's one to um, if you haven't experienced it, it's one to try it and then make up your mind. And don't fanny around when you yeah. see them online and, because and sizing is very yeah. odd. Remember, look. I'm in an extra small in these in these dresses. This is the um, I'm in an extra small in this, but here I am wearing a medium uh, that you can. Um, and I it doesn't it doesn't. And I wear a medium, it. and I wear a large. And you wear a large. Yeah. So you need, and I wear an extra yeah. large. You just yeah. need to fiddle and around. I think, I'm pretty sure we've got customers who've done the same. Yeah. They've got a variety of sizes. So here's another The spec one is the got. same. It's just that you yeah. need to think. That's a pomodoro one you just grabbed there, isn't it? The um, sleeveless one. Oh, sorry, pomodoro. So here's the. This is the one that Sarah's wearing at the moment. So uh, the animal. Print. I love this. I've lived and in then this. This is the latest one that's just about to, to hit the shop floor. Um, the zebra print. With you can wear them with. They often come with a belt. You don't have to wear the belt. I take the belt loops off. I actually really like that belt. Actually. Yeah. Really Don and I'll be arguing over who's wearing that next week. So it might be both of us. Right now, th and then this one, Pomodoro. This is. Pomodoro dresses often do me dining, however, this one doesn't. It is gorgeous, but it is big. I, I got big. into a... Yeah. Didn't I get into a 10 or something this ridiculous? Um, it's £81. It's it's the snake... snake um, go fruit. down at least one and size, ladies. Size. It's fabulous on, yeah. but it is big. Yeah, okay, and it is lined. Right, um, I think... Oh! Last two items. How, how, am I okay for time? You're fine, yeah. And the reason I wanted to show you these is because they're not online. So if you're looking for a jersey, very cool. Um, I imagine these are really That has cool no hanger appeal. It looks fab on. Yeah. It looks correct. like a bag of spanners off, <laughs> as does this. They so are gorgeous on. And they're jersey fabric. Um, so Everyone who's tried both of those on has bought them, haven't yeah, they? Yeah, but I thought... That yeah, dress again, is fab. non -iron. Um, with the dress, it just has to be the length. Um, you could wear it as a maxi, but often it's a midi, so you, you just have to get the length right on that one. There we go. And I think I've whizzed through that. There we go. Full non-iron wardrobe. So Don't next week. Don't waste your life ironing, ladies. <laughs> Don't iron socks. <laughs> But I listen to the archers, you see. I start ironing ah. at 10 o'clock in the morning when the archers goes so on. So, hands up. Who, how many of you are using iron, ironing as therapy? 
Is yeah, no, I iron, I iron and I listen to the archers and I just have a peaceful morning and it's just part of my routine. But I have always ironed. I, I just can't give it up. Next week, we are picking our favourite things, ladies, from this season. We're going to try and not bore you rigid by wearing something that we've worn 110 million times before. Yeah. But because that might not be possible. Most of my favourite things probably have been sold in my, so I won't be able to wear them because they've probably been sold. And in actually, my the size. same here. So that's going to be yeah. quite a good uh, one for us. We're trying really, really, really hard not to bring out the stuff we're so excited about too soon. We've got so much in storage that we want to show you, but we're just hanging on till we get to the end of this month, early August. But, you know, for late summer and into the early autumn, we've got a fabulous gilet, we've got some gorgeous knitwear, we've got new shirts, but we're trying very hard not to show you those at the if moment. If you're a gilet ladies, a lady and you're, you're looking for them, um, just watch this space. We've got a lovely one coming up for autumn. So hold your horses on searching for one until you've seen ours. Because it is it very really beautiful, is yeah. Okay, Donna, so thank you so much for doing that. Have a fabulous weekend, everybody, and we will see you next Thursday. Mm -hmm. But we think we've finally got our act together again to start doing Popper Body in a Top and a few short videos throughout the week. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, watch this space. You'll be seeing a lot more of us mm -hmm. over and the I'm next few be, weeks. I'm going to try to do a little bit different. Um, those of you who have never been to the shop, I'm going to be showing you a lot more of the shop with some uh, videos, daily videos. Yeah, and she's going to introduce you to Ellie, who joined us yes, last week. Yes, the lovely Ellie. So have a fabulous weekend, ladies. Catch up soon. See you next Thursday for a few of our favourite things. And actually, if you want us to wear a few of your favourite things, mm -hmm. let us know. Suggestions are always welcome. And Maria, you should put together a wish list. <laughs> yeah, sure. we're just laughing because Maria says that she's got a face for radio. So perhaps we could wear a few of Maria's favourite things. <laughs> anyway, see you next week, ladies. Bye-bye.